Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be comparing every FPS starting at 10, then 20, 30, 60, 144, and 240 frames per second. This is just a quick video to give you a better understanding on what you may or may not know about in-game frame rates and whether it's even a big difference switching to higher frames. Now the issue with this video is I can't just play the footage and show you guys because YouTube caps frame rates on 60 FPS. So for these tests, I'm going to have to slow down the footage in order to show you what the comparison is like. Anyway, if you could drop a like on the video, that'd be much appreciated and use code flea in the item shop to support more cool and informative videos just like this every Every single day. Hashtag ad. Anyway, let's get right into comparing these frame rates. So I'll just start off by explaining what FPS actually means and why it's important. So FPS stands for frames per second and the definition of frames per second is how many times an image is shown consecutively each second. The more images shown per second, the smoother the video is going to be. It's important in gaming because higher frame rates result in smoothness in game when moving around and it's easier to spot targets as well as it's a lot more comfortable to play on. So the average human eye can notice differences up to 255 FPS although it can detect things all the way up to a thousand FPS. So let's start off with a measly 10 frames per second. It almost looks like a slideshow. So let's double that to 20 frames per second and compare them. And now let's slow it down. Now let's compare 20 to 30 frames per second and slow it down. Not a huge difference there, so let's get to 30 to 60. So 30 frames is what Fortnite first started at back in the day, then they released an option to uncap frame rate, so we could then bring it up to 60. Slowing the footage down, you can notice a big difference in these two frame rates. Let's try 60 to 144 FPS. This is where it gets important, as you can see 60 is a lot more jittery compared to 144. And if we go even slower, 144 definitely takes a cake over 60 frames. So if you can imagine being able to see the game that much smoother all the time, it would make a huge difference. From my personal experience, switching from 60 to 144 FPS is the most satisfying thing in the world. Like it's unbelievable how much smoother gaming can be. If you're thinking of getting a PC, definitely get a 144Hz monitor because 144 frames is amazing. And now we have 144 and 240 frames. Not a huge difference here. Personally, I can notice, not sure if you guys can, but there's a slight difference. Nowhere near as big as the jump from 60 frames. Slowing it down a bit more, as you can see, 240 is keeping its cool while 144 is still a bit jittery. Now let's finish on comparing different frame rates out of order. So here's 10 FPS and 60 FPS. Here's 30 and 144. And here's 60 and 240. So that's going to about do it for this video. It was just a quick one comparing the frame rates to hopefully give you a better understanding on what the difference is. I'll be posting a video soon actually playing on these frame rates and trying each one to see how it affects my building and editing. If you guys want to win yourself a bunch of minty pickaxes and V-Bucks codes, definitely go follow my Instagram and my Twitter. I just gave three minties and 7,000 V-Bucks away to you guys today for Christmas and I honestly loved making people's day. If you made it to the end of the video, drop a blue heart in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.